I'm Annie or Lucid and we'll learn how to create a custom moving Apple Watch face. And let's get Lucid. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll open up our Procreate app and we'll open up a new file and this file will be a screen size of 1538 by 2048 pixels. So I have that opened and I have a couple open actually, but this will be the size of your Apple Face watch. And from there, we're going to be designing a GIF and I'm not gonna go over how to do that in this video. Instead, I'm going to leave a link in the description on how to do so. And with that out of the way, the next thing that we'll do is we're gonna go and upload the GIF that we've created here onto Jiffy. So now that we have our GIF and we've uploaded it to Jiffy, what we'll do is we'll go into Jiffy and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search up where I've uploaded my GIF into. And if you didn't create your own GIF, what you can do is you can just use Jiffy and this process will still work the same. So for myself, I wanna use this design that I created and I'm gonna click onto the three dots and I'm gonna convert this to a live photo. And I'm gonna fit this to screen And now my live photo has been saved. So what I'll do is I'll go into my live photo and what I'll do next is I'm going to actually edit this live photo. And we're gonna go into the live photo and we're actually going to drag it and we're gonna make a key photo and that's right here. So we can also trim it down as well and then we can click done and usually the the key photo part I put it at the end and so the next thing we'll do is we're going to click onto the photo and as you can see this is the short snippet that it's created and the next thing we'll do is we'll click right over here this is the share screen on the bottom left and we're just gonna scroll down and we're gonna click create watch face. So you have an option of doing either or, but of course we want our picture. So we click that and we click add. And next we're gonna go into our Apple watch. So click into that and from there, we're going to create an Apple watch face. So how we can do that is we can actually go into the my face and you can click onto that and you can of course change where you want your time position to be and all that and of course click on to set as current watch and once you did that what should happen is it should be on your apple face and what you can do to check if it works is you can kind of flip it and there you go. You can see that it's kind of moved a little bit. Yay! And there's another sample of that. And boom, there you have it. That's how you can create your own custom Apple watch face and you can make it move a little too. So that's pretty neat. And if you thought this was helpful or neat, Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, until then, take care and keep shining. And I'll see you around for the next video, whenever that will be.